Next question is from Hurricane Shaker. How do you set up the Quok episodes? How do you choose the questions? How do you prepare your answers? And when do you find out what the questions will be? There's very little. Right. Are we going to be real honest yeah. here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I think I think it's important because I think uh, we don't cherry pick questions. It's really extremely random. Uh, it's literally which one Whatever of us. Whatever speaks to us. Which one of us three gets to it first. Like, yeah. you know, like we all are always doing uh, lots of different projects. And so when we come in the office first thing in the morning, uh, Sal might be you know, on the phone with his book editor at the time. Justin may be booking something with Mall stuff. Doug's always got something going on. So I might go like, oh, I see that the guys are all really busy. Let me be the one to get on here real quick and pick, you know, four questions. I, I tend to try and pick, personally, I tend to try and pick questions that get a lot of likes, meaning that other people want to hear us talk about it. So I, I something that got no likes or nobody really, except that one person wants to hear it, I try and pick the ones that there's more than one person that's like wanting to hear the answer to that, but there's really no rhyme or reason of, of how we choose them. We do. And, and then the other guys don't know like these and these questions that we have right now, I picked these this morning. Mm -hmm. uh, Sal and Justin got zero time to prep. No one has prime for prep. So we don't prep yeah. our answers. No, I think that there, there may be some benefit to prepping a little bit, just looking at the question five minutes before. So you can kind of get your, your, what you're going to say, Organized, but really, uh, I like the fact that you know we, what comes out is our first experience, so it turns into a good discussion. By the way, for those of you who are have never asked us a question for these episodes, it's super easy. You go to the uh, Mind Pump uh, Instagram page; it's Mind Pump Media, and then go to the Qua. It's Q U A H uh, meme, and right underneath. Uh, post your question. And if you do it every week, I think we post them. How many times a week do we yeah. post them? The Once? odds are in your favor. Yeah. yeah. Especially if it's thought provoking. I think too, like we just, uh, we revisit a lot of like similar topics, but if we've done it like recently, we try to avoid like the redundancy of it. But I know people get something out of us going back over a topic in, in more depth. So we, we look for opportunities to do that uh, or, but mainly it, it's interesting questions. It's ones that are like thought provoking or, uh, you know, obviously related to health and fitness. Are, those are the best. Yeah. And it, here's the other thing too. Um, when we first started doing those, we thought to ourselves, well, was, people are going to be asking a lot of the same questions over and over again. But then we we remembered what it was like to be a trainer. Yeah, and, and yeah, here's the answer, thing: I answer the same question a thousand I'm times to the you. same person. Yeah. yeah, you know totally. when you're when you're working with somebody about and you're having you're talking about, about changing their behaviors and changing the way they eat and how they should become active. And they've never done it before. They've never been consistent before. It's a it's it's a lot of over the over over and over again conversations. Many times said differently, uh, maybe introduced differently, using different you know, examples, telling different stories, and eventually the person really understands well, that's what just, you're trying to say. This is just it. Like, uh, this happened many times in my career, and we see this happen today still with these quads. Like, if you're somebody who's listened to every single episode since day one, you pretty much know our stance on everything. But every time we have to revisit something that's similar to something we've talked about before, somebody shares something different or we we convey the message a little bit different and i don't i remember all the time training clients where i know i said this thing like 10 times i've answered this question 10 times but it was the way i answered it on the 10th time yes that like that hit that hit a chord yeah. for them that right. was like oh shit that makes total sense or it just it related to something in their life where the light bulb went off and then they now and that's what, how we look at these is that yeah there's so, every one of these questions we've answered somewhat like this before there's nothing in here that's completely yeah, many times yeah many times over but because it's worded different it's asked by a different person and we maybe not addressed it in, in six months or a year mm -hmm. we we answer it and then in hopes that there's, you know, hundreds, maybe thousands of people that are listening this time that go like, oh, oh, I get it now. Yes, the goal is to create aha moments uh, for people listening. And the goal is also to strengthen and reinforce those moments over time. So one of the best things you could do, and this is, again, this is experience with working with a trainer, uh, excuse me, working with clients as a trainer, is this. You listen to the podcast, listen to the questions, if you see that the same question comes up, keep going, keep listening over and over and over and over and over again. And what will end up happening is little by little, you will change the way you think about yourself. You will change the way you think about exercise and not just from a, 
outside, oh, I know this answer. I know what they're going to say. But I mean really knowing and adopting it as part of uh, you know how you treat yourself, how you exercise, um, and how you feed yourself. And so that's really the goal uh, with these questions. And so if you haven't asked this one, go to the, the Mind Pump uh, media official page, post questions. And if you do it every week, I guarantee at some point we'll pick your question um, and answer it for you.